Now it's home to the world's largest nuclear fusion project, researching ways to create green energy to power the planet. Today, scientists at Cullum have been celebrating 30 years of JET, a machine that creates power in a similar way to the sun. Now they're playing a key role in a project costing 14 billion euros, almost 12 billion pounds, aimed at making fusion work on a massive scale. Stuart Timworth has been for a look behind the scenes. This high-tech base at Cullum is at the cutting edge of nuclear fusion, a possible power source of the future. By fusing atoms rather than splitting them, scientists hope to produce energy that won't cause pollution or global warming. The process requires a plasma, a gas heated to extraordinary temperatures, and it's done here inside a machine called JET. Well, I'm walking through a mock-up of the plasma experiment here, and if this were running, it would be around 150 million degrees Celsius in here. That's 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. Now, in tests, they've been able to get enough electricity to power a small village, but they've been only able to do it for a few seconds at a time. The challenge now is to make that energy source stable and constant, and the centre in Cullum is playing a key role in the next step in Europe. Millions of euros are being pumped into building a huge internationally backed reactor called ITER in France. It'll use the technology from Cullum and reproduce it on a grand scale. The ITER project rep represents over half the world's population. It should be completed and turning on in the early 2020s. Um, and if that succeeds, which we're pretty confident it will, then I think there'll be a bit of a race on around the world's governments to, to have the first fusion power plant and to be you know, really a, a leader in that. But we're still decades away from being able to use this power. At the moment, the plasma process requires more energy to create than it produces. We are now uh, preparing the technology that is going to be used in ITER, this is a larger device, that will eventually produce much more power and then demonstrate that this process can generate enough power to run a power plant. It's going to take a lot of R&D to, to really explore all that and get to the stage that coal's at now. You know, it's taken 200 years for us to build coal plants that are this efficient. When we've had 200 years of building fusion plants, I'm sure it will be competitive. Some say this 14 billion euro project that Cullum is so key within is a big gamble. But if it pays off, this Oxfordshire centre could be playing a major role in creating safe, unlimited energy. Stuart Tenworth, BBC South Today. Well, amazing stuff of the future there. Right now, I'm going to take you back 90 years to a time when a rare book was published. It's been donated to an Oxfam bookshop and has been sold at auction for £4,500.